Howdy y'all. Um, today we're gonna be checking out a few different things. Uh, in the past couple days, I got two base products in the mail that I would like to try out. I also got some brand new ColourPop uh, colored volumizing mascara, which is right here. We're gonna try this out today too. Um, that's not really the focus of the video though, but I do wanna put my makeup on over the concealer and over the foundation that we're gonna try because I wanna see how it performs on top. Okay, so, that sounded really like dirty <laughs> after I thought about that for a second. Okay, so I asked you guys on Instagram, everyone that voted, thank you for voting. You are the reason why this video is being filmed. Um, if you voted no, sorry, there wasn't enough of you. <laughs> um, but your voice still matters, I still saw you. This is the $8.50, I feel like I'm yelling. I'm always yelling. Um, this is the $8.50 Can't Stop, Won't Stop <laughs> Concealer from NYX Cosmetics. It comes in 24 shades and pairs perfectly with their long outwear 24 hour coverage foundation. Well, we're not using that foundation today because I wanna see how well, um, I was gonna say low end, but I don't mean low end. I mean drugstore products uh, concealer is going to perform with a high end uh, foundation. So this is the box that I was sent in the mail. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? It has to be do with skin because of the gradient on here. You open this up and I've got all of these shades. So looking at this right off the bat, I'm loving that this is split evenly. These are darker skin tones and these are lighter skin tones and half and half split down the middle, not more the more light ones or, you know, um, whatever. So it, it looks like there's not, I mean, there's a few different hues of the concealer. Like some are a little more red toned, um, but it looks like there's a decent mixture. Although some of the darker ones down here look like they are a little yellowy. Um, whereas this one's pretty pink and this is pretty yellow. And then this, then you're going through all these, you're all pretty yellow until you get one with a little bit of red. So I don't know where I'm gonna fall in there. Um, these are advertised as being able to camouflage imperfections, brighten up your face and contour. So it's been a while since I've used a cream contour, I'll be honest. So this, this, we'll see. If I can do this easily, then it is uh, gonna be a pretty cool concealer. And if I can't, then I suck and it's not super easy to use. So we'll see. Next. Nextly, I almost said nextly, I still didn't look this up. Let me look up the facts on this mas mascara. I'm losing my shit. I mean, foundation. <laughs> the foundation that NYX Cosmetics is saying it goes well with this. I don't know what foundation that is. I don't know if I have it. It's not ringing a bell. If it's new, I didn't get, it didn't get sent to me unless it's still sitting um, at my office. So next we have the Hourglass <laughs> Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation. Kind of comes in an interesting shaped bottle. I just put a fake tanner on today, thank goodness, because I don't know if either of these, oh, that's really yellow. I'm gonna try this one today. This is ivory. This does not look ivory to me. This looks pretty tan. So it's available in 32 shades. It's, highly, it's a highly concentrated formula that delivers instant full coverage. We'll see about that. Uh, innovative coated pigments create a smooth, long-wearing application without drying out the skin. Formulated with light refracting microspheres to blur and create a soft focus. Okay, it's also formulated without alcohol, parabens, phthalates, sulfates, talc, and it's not tested on animals. They are completely cruelty-free, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be using this. This is $56, so, my water heater's on. The guy like across the street just stopped like blow like blowing his leaves in his lawn or something. And I was like, okay, cool. Now we'll film. And then my water heater's like, guess what? Bitch? I'm here to interrupt again. Wonderful. We'll just have to live with that. As you guys uh, know, I what is in my hair? Oh, there's like, I had some like dry shampoo just stuck chilling right there. Okay. This is $56. This is definitely a luxury foundation. Um, I. Honestly, to be completely honest with you, don't know if I've ever spent almost $60 at a foundation in my entire life because when I started my YouTube channel, I didn't have any money to buy to buy makeup and now thankfully I get sent a lot of foundations 
so much that I don't really go out and buy any. So I'm super grateful for that. But $56 seems, oh my gosh, my phone's not even silent. I suck at this YouTube thing. I'm a terrible YouTuber. $56 seems like a lot of money uh, when you think about the average wage that people are making per hour after paying taxes. Like that's gonna take you a long time to make $56 to buy that foundation. So it better be freaking good if it's gonna be $56 because I've used some NYX foundation that's like 12 bucks that I think is freaking awesome. So um, we're just gonna see, we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the concealer because I like to do my eyes first. It'll be interesting to see how black eyeshadow sticks to this concealer too. All right, I'm just going to take my foundation and try and like match like what would be like a little bit lighter. All right, that looks good. I literally put no thought into this. <laughs> I suck at matching my foundation and concealer. We all know that, so it doesn't really matter. Freaking hate these little things. They always ruin my nails. Nobody cares. They just keep putting them on. They're freaking. <laughs> so this concealer says that it's uh, 24 hours. Did I already say that? Pretty, it's a pretty bold statement. I definitely won't be wearing this for 24 hours. I don't know why any concealer needs to be 24 hours. Like, is this for like, I, I don't even know. I'm not even gonna begin to guess. Maybe that's not quite light enough. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh my gosh, I can't get this thing off. God, work on me. Can you please help me help you? Like help me help you, okay? Dear seven pound, two ounce, baby Jesus. <sighs> Goose Raba. Dear Next Cosmetics, please stop putting these shrink wrap on here with a little perforated edge that you have to pull down or start paying my nail bill. Thank you so much. Gonna go ahead and get my beauty blender. Oh. This is just such a shit show over here. Who wants to come over and hang out? I have no friends. What's up? Oh, right in it. Let's just, yeah, we're gonna go. So this one is the vanilla. We're just gonna go into vanilla. My uh, Juno & Co sponge is slightly wet. Okay, I need a closer mirror so I can actually tell you what the hell is going on in my face. Okay, cool. The coverage looks pretty nice. Um, I like that like it's not super liquidy. Like when you're like blending it out, it's kind of staying put, but still blending out. Um, looks like it has good coverage. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fan this down for a hot sec and then I'm just gonna put my um, eyeshadow right on top of it without powdering. A lot of times when you're doing darker pigments, it's a lot better if you just put it on, you know, concealer that's dried down rather than, you know, powdered up because it just doesn't stick as well. But some concealers don't lend itself to this and they get real splotchy, so we're about to find out how how this concealer plays with eyeshadow. Is this mic on? Hello? Okay, yeah, the volume levels are there. I was like, okay, if I just filmed all this and... So, I'm gonna be taking the Crystal Leanna Urban Decay palette, uh, Kaleidoscope palette. Duh, I know the name of this, I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna take this lovely Morphe brush that doesn't have a number on it, so you'll never be able to find it, but cool. I'm gonna take 13th floor in my eyeshadow palette, and I'm just gonna start, oh, whoa, hello. So the, the, the concealer hasn't really creased yet, um, which is great. I'm just gonna place this eyeshadow where I'm going to want the shape, and then it's grabbing the eyeshadow quite nicely, if I do say so myself. This is applying to the concealer really well, and the reason why I use my palette is because the black in my palette is the bombest black you will ever use in your life. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, I'm very confident. <laughs> um, so if it was gonna have, I wanted to give it the best chance possible not to be like a piece of shit, so you know. Can we talk about how much there's pretty much no black fallout underneath my eyes and like I've done all this blending and stuff? Boom, that's right, told you, it's the best black out there. Before we go in with this foundation, I'm gonna do uh, the Smith & Colt Black Drop Primer. Um, I really like this one, so I like to use it when I'm using new foundation and stuff, just to give it like the best chance to, you know, do its thing and look good. So just putting this kind of on all over my face, basically. <laughs> now, some people use cream, um, you know, contour underneath their foundation and some people use it on top and some people do both. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it on top of this foundation because I wanna see how it blends out and how they work well with one another. Um, okay, so we're gonna be going in with the Hourglass uh, Foundation in Ivory. Help this, okay, oh, oh, we have life, there it is. 
It's definitely more cream-like than like liquidy liquidy. So I like that. I'm like not in the center of the frame. It drives me crazy. Um, okay, so let's just start applying this. It looks really good. Doesn't look too like, you know, too moist looking. I know people hate that word, but that's a good word to describe how a lot of foundation looks once you put it on. Ryan just drove up and I feel like he's about to pop his head in here. Watch him interrupt my, watch him interrupt my filming, just watch. So I'm really liking the way that this is looking so far. I guess time will tell and how it wears um, and settles into fine lines and wrinkles and whatnot. But um, so far, it's looking pretty good. A little goes a long way. What I squirted out was like way too much. And I think I even put a little too much on my face in all honesty. So a little goes a long way, which is awesome. Going back to the concealer on the eyes, I'm not really actually liking how that kind of blended. Oh, right on cue. Oh. Did I tell you? Here he is. What's what? up? I literally just said, oh, Ryan just pulled up. Wait for him to open the door and interrupt my filming. <laughs> There's literally a sign on the back of the door that says, do not open. I am you filming. You always leave the sign up. I didn't know if it was still up or not. What's up? Nothing, I was just gonna you bring me food? Just stuff in here. I don't think the concealer worked great on the eyeshadow. You see how it's like settling like that? Maybe you do need to put like a nice powder over top because it didn't give us the best area there. Okay, so now before we contour, I'm gonna go back in with the NYX concealer and we're gonna put this under the eyes. This concealer kind of has the same consistency as the Hourglass foundation. It's like, it's like creamy rather than liquidy. Like you can kind of tell as it's blending out. Um, let's take a look, see a little closer. That blended out so seamlessly into our foundation. Looks really good. So I'm trying to go for a darker concealer to conceal with, but honestly, these all kind of are looking really red to me. Like that looks so red. And then anything that's not quite there is like, I don't know, I'm having a hard time here. I'm gonna go with this one. This is a uh, warm caramel. They all look really red to me. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna take this little brush, start blending this out. Okay, that's too much. Next side, that blended out pretty good. Um, I think I put too much on and it is slightly red. Uh, I don't, I think that they need some more neutral darker concealers because it pretty much goes from you know more yellow to more red so I, th I put like way too much on I did not know it was this serious on this area so I'm just gonna take some of that off <laughs> I think that blends out really nicely. I just got a little crazy and put way too much on. So there's that. Um, let's look at underneath the eyes. Okay, that's definitely creasing up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this with the Huda Beauty um, Pound Cake uh, setting powder. I'm gonna set underneath the eyes and the whole face since we did um, the contour on top. Yeah, warm caramel. I'm gonna use a little bit of this on my nose cause like I want to see how this goes. Oh my God, I think I already put too much. <laughs> I'm never gonna learn. Okay, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna wipe that off. It really blends out really nicely. It's pretty awesome. I just need more shades. Like I need one that's not so warm. Oh my God, look at this lighter one. This is a lighter one. Basically between what I put on and this one, like this would not contour for me. It's also extremely yellow. I think they need to work on their undertones a bit. Um, but as far as the formula so far, really, really liking it. It blends out beautifully. It's easy to work with. It doesn't dry too fast, but it's also not too liquidy. Great coverage. Okay, so we did the uh, the blush, the highlight, um, kind of finished up the eyes here. 
Moving in to the lashes, I'm gonna be using these Eyelure lashes. It comes with some little glue. I've never used Eyelure lashes in my life before, so let's try this out. Roke, a silky soft mink style lash. Um, these are synthetic. They are not made out of mink. I do not use lashes that are made out of animals, whether the company tells me it is cruelty free or not. There, I don't see a way that you could possibly take fur off of an animal um, and have that be cruelty free. I just don't buy it. So I think that's a load of horse shit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let my lashes dry down a little bit. I'm using uh, Never Basic, which is the hot pink. Each of these mascaras says something different on the side, but then it also says pink ink on the bottom and these all have different names on the side. So I don't know which one's the name, um, but it looks like this. And we're gonna do this on the lower lashes while my lashes dry down. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay, that's fun. You could also put this in your eyebrows if you had enough eyebrow hairs. I don't, but maybe you do. That looks so cool. Finally, a colored mascara that works. This one is um, Yellow Goodbye. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so. Oh, ooh, hello. Hello, Yellow. Okay, that is so fun. Every color mascara that I've like almost ever tried never shows up, so this is pretty exciting. There we go. Um, so we are good to go here. So final thoughts as of now, I'm gonna check in with you guys over the next few hours. I'm not gonna do 10 hours because I never wear my makeup for 10 hours and I don't think many people do. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but like I feel like most people wear it for like eight hours a day and then kind of take it off. So we'll see how far I get today, but um, Really loving the coverage. I think it's great that you uh, only need to use a little bit to cover most of your face. The concealer worked really well too, other than on top of the eyes. I really didn't like the way that that was working at all. It's still completely creasing up and I can't stand that or the not flying around. Um, I think that the, uh, the NYX concealer blended in really well. I do think that they are either very yellow or really red, so I would really love something kind of in between, um, especially for contouring for people with um, more paler skin tones. I mean, every skin tone needs a concealer that's the right hue, but it's, ex it, it's very obvious when you're pale and you're either using a very yellow um, hued concealer or contour versus, you know, kind of an in the middle or a red. It's very, it's, it's, they're, they're way too over here. Um, so we'll see how this wears, but so far so good. I mean, usually it settles here and here. Um, it's settling slightly, but it looks natural. It's not like, you know, creating like a crevice right here. Um, I think my skin looks pretty good with this on. So we'll see how it goes, but so far I'm really liking both the concealer and the foundation. I don't think I would ever put the concealer on top of my eyes again. I might give it one more chance with powder, but that just freaked me out a little bit um, af after all this. So let me know what you guys think. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Comment, the below, uh, comment below how you think that the concealer and the foundation performed as of now, and we will check in a little bit later and we'll see how it's looking. I'm not gonna powder it or touch it up or anything. The only time I'll touch it up is if I'm gonna eat and I'll mess up my lipstick. I will touch that up, but let's check in a little bit and I'll see you guys then. All right guys, so it's been four hours since I put this foundation on. I've since then pulled off my false lashes and eaten and I haven't touched anything up or reapplied lipstick or anything, so I'm looking real good. But um, this is holding up pretty dang well. We got Riverdale happening in the background. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this. Like it's got a nice glow and I also put um, Highlight on obviously, so that's part of this, but it's a little shiny in the center, um, but not bad at all. I'm really liking the way that this is looking underneath the eyes. It's holding up pretty well as well. Um, so the concealer and foundation are looking, looking pretty dang good. Woo! I feel like a hot mess right now. It is 11.30. We finished this foundation at 4.30. I've ripped my eyelashes off. There's tons of fallout under here. I need to fix my lipstick. We're very dewy. 
Um, overall, like this is really distracting me right now and so is this and the fallout and stuff, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the way that the makeup held up considering it wasn't touched up at all. I'm definitely more oily here and here than I'd like to be. So you're definitely gonna wanna bring powder with you and stuff if you're wearing this for like seven to eight hours, etc. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with the wear of this. I also was like blowing my nose and like just not being careful with my face at all. And I even like itched it a few times with my nails and stuff. And um, so yeah, <laughs> I could have been a little more careful, but I kind of forgot about it most of the time. Um, but overall, pretty impressed. I mean, it looks kind of like a hot mess now, but <laughs> I think a lot of this is the eye makeup that's really throwing me off and the fallout and stuff, but I need to go rinse my dirty face off right now. Like I've had the urge to do it for like the last seven hours. So here we go. I'm gonna go do that. I'm about to fall asleep too. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the NYX concealer and the foundation. Um, I'm pretty impressed with both actually. I just wouldn't be using the NYX concealer on my eyes again because look at that. I can't remember the last time makeup has done that on me. Like I feel like it was like a long, 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 long time ago when I was wearing like the crappiest makeup ever. So that's kind of weird. But other than that, pretty good. Um, I will chat with you guys in the comments. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get notified immediately when I put up a new video. I also have an animal YouTube channel that is linked in the description box below as well as a website with a bunch of fun stuff on it. So check it out. I was gonna say goodbye, but I'm gonna say goodnight. Goodnight, you guys.